In Bruton town there dwelt a farmer. He had two sons and one daughter dear. By day and night these sons were conspiring to fill their parents' heart with fear. He told his secrets to no author, but to his elder brother said, I think our servant courts our sister. I think they has a great mind to wed, but I'll put an end to all their courtship. I'll send him silent to the grave. So they asked him to go a hunting without any fear or strife. Then these two bold and wicked villains, they took away this young man's life. And in the ditch there was no water, where only bush and briar grew. They couldn't hide the blood of slaughter, so in the ditch his body they threw. And when they came home to their sister, she asked it for her serving man. I ask because I see you whisper, come brothers, tell me if you can. Oh sister, sister, you do offend me because you so examine me. We lost him in the fields a-hunting, and no more of him we could not see. That night as Mary lay a-sleeping, she thought she saw her own true love. By her bedside as she was weeping, he was dressed all in his bloody coat. Don't weep for me, my dearest jewel, don't weep for me, nor can or pine. For your two brothers killed me so cruel, in such a place ye shall me find. So she rose early in the morning, with heavy sigh and bitter groan. The only love that she admired she found in the ditch where he was thrown. The blood upon his lips was drying, her tears were salt as any brine. She sometimes kissed and sometimes crying, here lies this dearest friend of mine. Three nights and days she lay beside him, and her poor heart was filled with woe. Till faintness come a-creepin' on her, and home she was obliged to go. And when she came home to her brothers, Sister, what makes you look so wan? Brothers, don't you ask the reason, but for his sake ye shall be hung.